Um, Adam, so we gotta do this show. Wait, why are you leaning against your microphone? Because I have no ambition to do the show. Well, I need you to say the line. All right. My whole... Oh, you Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to As the Buckle Turns News. I'm Adam. I'm Tim. Yay. <laughs> uh, so, Adam. What? Uh, it sounds like you have no ambition whatsoever. I have none. Just a bad week? Bad fucking week. Okay. Well, let's see if we can make this as painful as possible for you. Thanks. No problem. That's my job in life. Make people painful. Yeah, <laughs> let's get right into the news. Yeah, so we have some short news here, so let's go over the ratings first. I'm supposed to be the host. You have no energy. You keep saying, I'm going to be the one running this. So. Yeah, that's, no, I said you're going to be the one talking. Oh, that's All true. right, so ratings this week. Yeah, AEW beat NXT. <laughs> Did you get the numbers? Yeah, 741 to 558. Down for both shows this week. Yes, it is. I wonder why that could be. I don't think anything important is happening in our capital at the, that this very week that has historic proportions to it. I don't think so. Uh, no, no, I, I just, don't see I, anything. Yeah, I don't think so either. Nope. nope. So people just didn't go out and watch wrestling today. Exactly. This week. That's all. That's all it was. That's all it is. But uh, it is kind of funny. Um, yeah. We do have predictions for this week. Oh, totally. For NXT TakeOver. Yay. St. Valentine's Day. I mean, Vengeance Day. Vengeance Day. Yeah. Okay. That, we'll get to how much I hate that name later. Uh, but. During the predictions. Which is going to be actually up before this show is up. No, it won't. It no? It's going to go up on Sunday. They're doing the predict. They're doing the show on Sunday this they've been, week? They've been doing Sundays for TakeOvers lately. Yeah. I'm so confused. Yeah, I know. So, because normally, right. normally predictions would go up um, today, cause yeah. we're recording Friday, but I'm just like, by the time I get home, it's well, not going to get up tonight. No, but I mean, Saturday it could have gone, you know, yeah. whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It'll get up. So yeah, the AEW but, is still winning the ratings. So yes, it was the go-home show for TakeOver for NXT. So, okay. so I mean, I, I got to point this out. I got to just point this out. Combined, NXT and AEW hit a 1.2. Okay. Plus, while Raw hit a 1.7. Raw, the show that has been around since 1993, the supposed flagship of WWE, is only 500,000 above their supposed uh, developmental program and the terrible competition. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, at the same time, though, uh, last week, not not this past SmackDown, the one before, was a 2.2. Mm -hmm. That show is, is the actual flagship show. Which everyone was saying they were going to do anyway because of how much Fox is paying for their that show. And, uh, That's I, why does, Roman Reigns is on it. Does Fox hit a, a larger audience? Yeah. Okay. Because it has broadcast. Oh, all right. It's one of the original broadcast channels, so it has that wider base. Oh, no, it's actu it's on actual Fox and not just Fox Sports? Yeah, it's on actual Fox. Oh, yeah, never mind then. Yeah, they, I mean, <laughs> the only way NBC, the owner of USA, could actually compete with that would to be put it on NBC. And it won't draw the ratings that their shows on Friday nights get. Yeah. Um, no. I mean, yes, you have a wider range. Yeah. But it would not fit at all. And but not on a Monday night. No, they have NBC. Keeping. Yeah, so, but it is what it is. We'll be interested to see how good Takeover is. Let's see if their show goes up next week because of a post Takeover. <laughs> they, they, they they may see a boost. It won't be beating AEW. I'm sorry, unless something really weird. No, actually, at this point, AEW is due to the Forbidden Door being open. AEW is in a prime spot mm -hmm. to completely dominate. Um, sorry, um, the Forbidden Dorm isn't open anymore. 
What? How did it get closed? Well, the forbidden that door, it's open. It's not forbidden anymore. It's open. It's gone. The new forbidden door is still closed, and that is AEW working with WWE. Oh, yeah. No, no. Keep, <laughs> keep that door closed. In fact, put a brick wall over it. <laughs> Don't li- and and AEW put the brick wall on your side. Um, no, no, don't. Do and then that. put Just, another door up. Um, only don't open that one until the old dude, who the intern, yes, is waiting to super kick, is dead or retires, or is forced out because someone uh, something happened because Universal um buys them and says yeah. go away Vince. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's honestly uh, those two two scenarios mm-hmm. of either Vince dying or the the company being bought out from underneath him and him being forced out are the only ways that I see him leaving yeah the WWE in any way. Yes, so do I. But let's move on to our next story. What All is right, we've got a couple of injuries we need to talk about. Uh, so this well, past. Okay. So who did Nia Jax injure this time, besides her hole? Herself. She <laughs> ran out of people to injure backstage. <laughs> I will say this. Um, My hole. Oh, that was, I haven't watched the clip, but the fact, because it's been um, censored and cut out on YouTube, I'm sure I could be fine if I really wanted to. You're, you're actually, Nia Jax, you're now in the same, you have something in common with X-Pac, other than go away heat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, oh. that was a. Gr- I will say this: it was a good line for her, um, to just shout it out there. <laughs> it's just like, way to get people talking about you, other than injuring people. Yes. Um. So, good for on you. It sucks that WWE hated it. The the un the unedited video of it. Yeah. It looks like a called spot because of the way that she lands and then stands up and immediately says it. Yeah. And and Lana's reaction, mm. I was just like, this was planned. And somebody in creative was like, or more accurately, Vince didn't like the reaction it got. Yeah. And now was like, nope, nope, we gotta we gotta make this all go away. And that's that's actually one of my biggest complaints about the yeah. WWE is that they constantly are like rewriting their own history. Yep. And you're like, guys, uh, we watched it. There's tape of it. Yep. Uh, like I was telling one of the guys at work, uh, because he was also complaining about it. And I was like, do you remember a couple of times where like Michael Cole would say on commentary, this has never happened before during a match (laughs) and then just going, but wait, these guys did that exact move three months ago in a match. Mm -hmm. And Michael Cole, you were calling it. I'm like, and oh, yeah. they, and that this is the fifth time these two have been in the ring together. This has happened before, and it's just I'm like stop, stop telling us this is uh, that uh, the other complaint is that um, what is it Survivor Series the one time of year <laughs> that the that the stars of SmackDown and uh, Raw come together for competition. I'm like that. Yeah. No, that happens at every freaking pay per view in one I, way or another. I don't know what you're talking about. You are lying your ass off right now. Oh, and then there's bragging rights. Come <laughs> on, guys. <laughs> this is the bullshit that like that that has turned fans away. Yeah, it's just one of those things where it's just like some producer came up with the idea, and then it got approval to do it. Yep. And then it gets done, and then Vince changed his mind, and then or. Or they didn't like the reaction to it. Yeah. And uh-huh. so it needs to be completely rewritten okay. out of history. Or you could just go, don't rewrite it out of history. Just ignore it. Yeah. People yeah. will forget it if you ignore it. The more you try to say something never happened. The more people are going to The prove. more people are going to go, like, yes, it did. Yep. And it happened here. And then it happened here. Yep. And then it happened here. There's a reason why they don't go to the um, the ring falls apart spot. Very often, because yes, thankfully, um, it has it's such a spot that if you did it too often, you would it would be useless and pointless. It's almost like how how chair shots got at one point where everyone's just like, eh, it's a chair shot. You yeah. can no sell it at this point. Yeah, thankfully they've cut back on that, and chair shots actually mean something. Exactly, which unfortunately not doesn't always happen when you have something that's overdone to that level. 
people still just say, eh, Ooh. chair shot. I forget which show it was on, but Austin was on it, and he was talking about chair shots. Um, uh, who? Uh, it was some talk show, and they were like, "Okay, you know, do you want to oh, show yeah, us?" Yeah, he and and he's like, "Well, yeah." When the person's down and they're on all fours, or they're you know whatever, their back is up, that you're allowed to go for it, and you aim for this area, and you do this, and you hit them with the the chair in this specific way. And they are the ones that gets to flip over so that you go, no, my stomach is up. You don't chair shot me anymore. And he's like, well, then, then you just turn the chair sideways and you give him a couple right there. And I'm like, Oh my God. Yep. He has done this. And like, you go back through his yeah. through tapes of Austin. Austin has been very, very good about back shots with chairs. Yep. Very like there's very few people that he hits head on. Triple H is one of them. Yep. But Triple H uh, Hunter is also really good about always having his hand up. Yeah. Um, there's only a few times where he's taking a chair shot. He didn't get his hand up fast enough. Right. Or, and it's usually, you know, he's turning around and his hand doesn't come up fast enough. Yeah. Very rarely, like he doesn't pull a Mick Foley who's like, just hit me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like Mick, stop it. Yeah, Austin. You, you, I saw. I didn't watch the clip, but I saw a guy you know, like, laying down. And he hits a chair. I was like, oh, I feel sorry for that guy. Yeah, I, I gotta say this. Uh, you know what would actually bring people into watching Raw again? What's that? Make Austin the GM. No, I don't, at this point, I don't think it would. Uh, I mean, or, or. Make Austin something in the show, commissioner or whatever, but get rid of the four for not like how he was last time, where it was just like he would randomly show up and four wheeler his way through. Yeah, but like at this point, just be like, no, no, I'm 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 the guy who's going to interview you back backstage, and completely change the the Stone Cold character <laughs> for a moment. Everyone's just like, wait, that's Stone Cold Steve Austin, and he's like, no, I'm not Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm Steve Austin. You want Stone Cold? I'll get in the ring and show you Stone Cold. And like, so the entire time as a, as a authority figure, you're like, no, this guy actually could kick my ass. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. So. I like the idea. I think it would work. Bring it, Austin it's, back. It's a, it's a good idea. But I just wouldn't bring in the, the stars. Oh no. But like. It'd bump it for a day, uh, uh, maybe two days. And then people are like, oh, he's back, but everything else still sucks. No. I, okay. but the maybe he could be the catalyst. The other two injuries were um, one's an yes. injury and one's uh, we don't know what happened. Yes, and I mean I'm calling it an injury. Yeah, um, Braun Strowman has actually come forward why he hasn't been on TV since the Royal Rumble, and that is because he's got a blood a blood um, disease disease that he's infection infection that's what it was yes an infection that he has recovered from and he's coming back but he got so bad where he lost 15 pounds <sighs> in a day. Or two days. The beast. <laughs> oh, so we have um, sponsorship again. Oh, just wait until I have to get into the Red Bull. <laughs> uh, well, by the way, what did you say? did you say? Monster. Monster. Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> ah, unleash the beast. Roar. <laughs> Roar. Oh. oh, that one. That was forceful. But yeah, so. Yeah. We wish him well. Hopefully he'll get yes. better. He'll be able to come back to the ring soon. But he has, yeah. says he's getting better. Um, his, just, his real name's Adam, isn't it? I think so. Hold on. Let me... But... Well, you keep talking about... The about other him, one uh, was an actual injury. It happened this past Wednesday, and it happened to the one and only Cody Rhodes. Apparently in his no! night job... What happened to him? Um, He broke his fucking neck. No. Wait, what? <laughs> he, he's got a broken freaking neck? Yes, he has a broken freaking neck. Well, hopefully he can do as well as Austin and Angle did with a broken freaking neck. No, he lost. No, oh, god damn it. <laughs> he cried out for his mommy and walked away. No. No, what happened was during his tag team matchup, he um, got a minor tear in his rotator cuff on Ooh. his left arm. Ooh. Uh, so... He just rolled out of the wing um, after making a tag, and he didn't come back to the get back in. I I knew Braun Strowman was a really good guy. He's an Adam. He's a fellow Adam. Just because his name is Adam doesn't mean he's a good uh, good guy. It just means he's an, he's an asshole. No, 
Adams are, are really nice guys. If you ever find an asshole named Adam, the Council of Adams have gotten together and given him the name Chad. So your name is Chad? I am not Adam. I mean, what? <laughs> I am an Adam. <laughs> um, so... I, I have lost my seat upon the council every <laughs> once in a while, and I said to the council that that was a that was a, I respect their decision, even though it's a stupid ass decision. <laughs> anyway, uh, has got an update on Cody. He will not miss any time if um he'll miss very little time if any. So that's good. Um, especially he has a big matchup with Shaq coming up yeah most likely that'll uh, it's what a tag team match yes it's uh jade i can't remember her last name's first matchup teaming with Shaq. okay and red velvet's teaming up with cody since um his, his wife brandy is pregnant what <laughs> come on brandy you could power through it yeah it'll build character with the baby <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> i'm sorry i can't congratulations you guys i hope this kid is going to be a, a fucking phenomenal kid we, we covered this the announcement yeah. already but still yes so it's good to hear that he won't miss much time um he'll probably stay out of the ring most likely i um, mean until then yeah because they, uh, they don't want to sacrifice that matchup plus you can actually have uh, let it be a match where Cody and Shaq actually don't do too much. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing is, Red Velvet is very green still, and it's Jade's first match. Yeah, I know. So... It, it could still be one of those that, like, everyone is balancing, but, like, Cody and Shaq are just like, okay, buddy, I'm going to help you, Shaq, but I can't do too much with this left arm on you, okay? It's going to be one of those... AEW is going to figure it out. Yeah. They're very good at working around things. It, so Orange no Cassidy doubt. with a run-in. <laughs> um, knocks out Shaq with the orange punch. Yes. <laughs> Just out of the blue, Shaq sells it like a motherfucker. He throws himself out of the ring, into the audience, taking out half their um roster in the main fry. Not just like, like you know... They catch him and they fall down. No, they're, they're all out of action for, like, yeah. months. <laughs> yes, because Shaq is that big. Because Shaq threw himself. He wanted I to still, sell for Orange Cassidy. You know, I still wish that we had gotten a, a Shaq versus uh, Big Show match. When Yeah, when the Big Show was better in his prime. Yeah. And Shaq was better in his prime, but it is what it is. All right, what's our next piece of news? Our next piece of news. Holy crap, I forgot to hit the buttons on these. Uh, that is Bad Bunny, man. Uh, yeah. uh, so uh, there's been news um, lately that Bad Bunny's getting set up for a tag team matchup WrestleMania. I don't care. I do why. I mean, I will say this: it is nice to see WWE actually use a celebrity in a way that's going to build a, t- a talent versus just you know be a star on their own and make one of their stars put him over. Oh, because uh, at first I was going to be like Stephen Amell, but yeah, he actually... But Stephen Amell, did the, they did the same thing with Stephen Amell, but he wasn't as well known as apparently Bad Bunny is. And and I did I did like the fact, though, that Stephen Amell, it was kind of a, a thing with Cody personally. Yeah. And it wasn't just like a, oh, I'll just, I'm here. Yeah. Oh, and somebody doesn't like that I'm here, and we're going to do... And it's like, no, no, they're started because of a, like... A close friendship. Maybe. A friendship. and But, like, the way that their story worked is that Stephen was at the at the show, yeah. talked some stuff to Cody, and Cody was like, you want to get in the ring? <laughs> yeah. We'll do this. So um, I liked that. But, yeah, I definitely think it's good. I like the fact that at least they're using Bad Bunny to build Damian Priest. Okay. Um, Fair enough. It, you're making a, you're using him to rub off on a new talent who just got called up. A, a new talent. Punishment Martinez is nearly 40 years old. New talent for the main roster. Fair enough. That's what I meant by new talent, not an actual new talent who's green as shit. Um, but, so I, I like that. And let's be honest. The people who are mad about this, they want to say he, he's stealing a spot. They're just mad that they're not in the spot that Damian Priest is in. That's really what it comes down to. Okay. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll give him this if it was 38. <laughs> he's my age. Almost. He's, he's not a he's, he's definitely not a new talent. Come on. He's a kid. He's been I, around since 20, 2004. He's a kid. I'm 38. <laughs> yeah, he does. He, he still looks he, young. He looks like he's almost barely um, 30. His his run in impact. I thought he was in his mid 20s. Yeah, I thought he, like, maybe, I knew he was older. Maybe early 30s. Um, I knew he was older. He looked older in Ring of Honor. But yes. when he came to, the, um, to NXT, he just looked like 
Um, he leaned up more. Yeah. And I then, think that's what helped. Yeah, I think so too. Um, so, but yeah, it's just one of those things. I, I think it just comes down to people are mad that they're not in Damian Priest's spot. If Bad Bunny was having a singles match and someone's going to put it over, have to put the, him over, then you'd have a point. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, I, I like the celebrity tag team yeah. spot. When you're using the, their celebrity to get someone else over, yes, it works. Yeah. So, uh, let's move on. All right. So, we've got Ring of Honors signing stars. Their words. Yeah, so I had to remind myself on this news article, um, I just sent you a random one. Yeah. Because I'm like, I don't care about who's actually being signed in this one. I just want, I want to bring up, because over the last few weeks, every single week, there's been at least two or three mentions. Ring of, Ring of Honor re-signs top talent, this talent, that talent. Uh, what? So, How? Okay, so, especially since, what was it, two years ago? Ring of Honor was not in a good spot no. because of their own management. Own management, but also um, just being gutted. Yeah. Oh, that that too. Um, they were constantly gutted throughout their existence. NXT just gutting them over um, and over again. But the but not taking the Briscoes. Seriously, I know. guys. I'm surprised on that one. I am, okay forbidden door moment um uh, <laughs> i am i am looking forward to the possibility of the briscoes versus ftr oh yeah and by the way the forbidden door is closed aew and wwe not happening <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah yeah um but yeah so the reason why apparently um everyone is being re-signed is mm-hmm. re-signing their contracts because ring of honor normally does about a year out deal yeah because they're smaller they just do a full year lock you in um is because when the pandemic hit they got paid for all the shows that got canceled yeah they were constantly getting paid um and taken care of and they're like you know what yes you're small and i could probably go somewhere else but i may not get taken care of like this i'm gonna stick around also the fact that um they're Clearly, the alliance is starting to really solidify. Yeah. You know, Ring of Honor's like we still have the 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 deal with New Japan, but and now New Japan kind of seems to have a deal with AEW, and uh, we just... kind of also have a, a handshake deal with like AAA, which has a deal with AEW. So you're probably going to have some someone from AEW or New Japan, or we're going to be able to put you into something. Ring of Honor is going to eventually end up working with um, AEW, I think. Yeah. I think it will be a while, uh, still a while before they officially solidify that. Oh, of course. Um, But it's not a bad thing. So, But I'm glad that people who see Ring of Honor is like, okay, they took care of me. We're going to I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. Because like, it was only like two years ago, WWE was adamant about getting Rush. Yes. Oh, my, my bad. Roosh. Um, and it was Andrade C.M. Almas who said, don't come here. Yeah. It's just like, dude, no. And speaking of Almas, he where been, is he? He's been on, a, um, he's been, um, the Charlotte Flair's, um, pamper boy. Whatever. <laughs> Cause they are engaged, but I mean, I don't blame him, but yeah, who knows? He didn't take off TV and he hasn't come back and he wasn't in the Royal Rumbles and he was not up for, for as a replacement. No. In case of an injury. So, who knows? But hopefully his contract will end up soon, and then he can go somewhere else. But, okay, what's I, the next one? I honestly feel that AAA might be his best best place to go to right now. He could go there. Um, honestly, I would say, no, go to Ring of Honor. Yes, it's smaller. Ooh, from, yeah. Go, it's smaller compared to what you're used to at WWE, but you'll probably get a better paycheck. You could get a, a good paycheck from yeah. them. And you can draw eyes to them. You yep. can do work with your friend Roosh. Yep. Um, Dragon Lee's there. You could have, and then you could also work with a, um, yeah. New Japan. So I think that for him, that'd be the better place. Or Impact. But I think um, Ring of Honor would be better. No, because, yeah, I saw that uh, who, I, regarding yeah signings from no. them, it was... Oh, like the, oh crap. Dude, you, we didn't... Okay, we have one more thing that I'm going to add to the news later on. Oh, that video that you yes. sent me that I still have no clue what it was about. Yes. I forgot about it. I saw um, it. I'm like, I'll watch it later. <laughs> come on. Come on. Scroll, 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 scroll. Uh, no, that's not what I saw. It was, but it was Leo Rush re-signed. 
No, it wasn't Leo Rush. Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee, Dragon Roosh, Lee. and someone else. Oh, it's, yeah, sorry. I keep forgetting that oh, Roosh it was, it was, um, and Leo Rush are yeah. not the same person. I'm Roosh, a fucking more. Dragon Lee, and, and Bandito. Yeah, and uh, like their dad. They've all re-signed. Yes. Um, oh, no, their dad was the new signee. He, no, he, they're the one I sent you. Yeah. That was a re-sign. No, yeah, there was somebody who just got like a new sign, but they're yeah. uh, a veteran. So, but it's one of those things where it's just good to see that Ring of Honor is they've taken care of their talent and um, that they're the talent's rewarding them by staying with them. So it's good for them. Um, I don't see Roosh staying with Ring of Honor long term. I think he can get a better deal, like AEW. Yeah. At some point, but well, plus and New Japan is work over there. Yeah. So, but I'm glad he, I, I think it is the better spot for him right now. Stay there another year or two and then see if AEW is interested, which they'd be nuts if they're not. Mm. Um, what's the next story? All right. So the next one. Why don't we go to the one that you um, said we forgot about? Yeah, sure. Why not? Because. Uh, so um, this week, post-match, uh, there was an interview, a uh, press conference, if you will. It was a. Uh, Tim, seriously, you needed to watch it. I'm sorry, I because forgot. Because it's, it's presented very much the same way that New Japan does their press conferences. Okay. Um, uh, Kenny, Don Callis, and the Good Brothers. Mm-hmm. The belts up front. Yeah. Uh, Don does a lot of the talking, uh, which actually works out great. Uh, but they're clearing the air regarding Bullet Club. Okay. Uh, they're really happy that you know their brother Kenta was able to come over for Bullet Club, uh, from the New Japan branch of Bullet Club, which Kenny immediately went, oh, the one that's not making money. Oh. No. Oh yeah, he kept taking shots at them. Uh, over and over, like forgetting the names of people that are over there. Yeah, but like right away. I, I mean, I don't. I don't even know who's who's part of it over there right now. I. I mean, oh, I mean Kenta, of course, because he's here. We we saw him. Yeah. <laughs> and like, oh yeah, it. They they take shots at them over and over again, That's and funny. and it's great too because these guys recognize themselves. You know, the the Good Brothers and Kenny. As Bullet Club. Yeah. <laughs> the Bullet Club. Don't. And, like, clearly this is setting up yeah. a six-man match of Kenny and the Good Brothers versus uh, Jay White, which, by the way, they refused to call him his name. <laughs> they were like Mr. Blady Blade or something. <laughs> uh, and and his two lackeys. They kept calling Tonga Loa and Tama Tonga his two uh. lackeys. Two original B Cl- Bullet Club members. Yeah. And they're like, the lackeys. I was like, oh, you got... This is such a, a well, brilliant thing. But remember, back when they were there, as part of Bullet Club, they were lackeys. Well, yes. They were lower level members. But they were part of the... Uh, yeah, they, they were, were part of the, the founders. They were, they were part of the founders. Time out is, anyway. But they were not as well known. They no. were the ones running with the belts when they were there. Right, right. They were just members. So it's a great little dig at like remember your place, boys. Where when we were there, when when we were there, you were still you were the junior heavyweight stuff. Okay, yeah. so it's the great little it's a great little dig at them. I'll have to go and watch it. I meant to, I just I forgot to. I would look at my phone. I'm like, I'm not watching this on my fucking phone. Oh yeah, no 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 no. Watch it on a larger screen so. because a lot of Kenny's comments are like quiet and mm-hmm. off to the side. Just. Uh, yeah, the one that's not making money. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember who's over there. And they're like, and Don Callis is like, that switchblade. He's like, oh, yeah, Mr. Blady Blade. <laughs> Literally that- the guy that beat him for the North American Championship. Mm-hmm. No, for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. No, that was not him. Who did Kenny drop the belt to? He dropped to the ace, Tanahashi. He dropped the North American, uh, no. the, the U.S. title, though. He dropped the uh, yeah he dropped the U.S. title to the blade J- yeah to Jay White to he did he dropped the U- world title to Tanahashi K- Tanahashi but then dropped it to Jay White yeah okay because he didn't resign yes um but that's cool so what's the next piece of news all right next up uh, we gotta say fuck that guy Joey Ryan seriously fuck that guy fuck okay. that guy let's move on 
Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, good news. Yes. Sort of. Sort of. No, it's great it's news. It's good news, but it's a little eh at the end. But some of his cases that he's um, he's suing accusers of him mm-hmm. have been dismissed by a judge. Yes. Because he's an asshole and... Yeah, I can't make my money, so I'm going to sue the people who are accusing me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kind of reinforces what you're trying you're trying to sign to people. Yeah. Um, but so that's great to see. Um, another, other cases were dismissed against other people through, and everything. But the three cases that this article is focusing on were dismissed, but they were dismissed without prejudice, so he can refile. Yes. And everything. So that's the kind of... Uh, it has to be reworded and refiled. Um, but, so it is a good thing that they were dismissed. Because he's a... Uh, come on, dude. Yeah. Just admit you made a mistake. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, then I can't do that. Then I they could come at me for damages. Right. D- then just shut up and don't do anything. You're just making it worse for yourself. But the, overall, it's a good thing that the, the cases were dismissed. Hopefully, he won't refile and yes. just deal with it. Just, just deal with um, the consequences, But his bro. main one where I'm still waiting to hear from is the one against um, Impact being dismissed. I can't wait for that. Yeah, that that's that one that I'm I, I'm not entirely sure because it's a yeah, it's contract like, clay. Uh, yeah, it's one of those where it's more likely it's going to be settled or yeah. it's going to go to court. And, and, and then that. who knows which way it could go. Yeah. So that's why it'll more likely be settled than anything else, but only time will tell. Um, but yeah, so but at least the good news is these three cases against accusers were dismissed currently and had not been refiled yet. Yes. So and by the way, fuck that guy. Fuck that and fuck the L, because you know, fuck the L. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got like a couple more things. Actually, literally a couple more things to go over. Uh, Tim. You said that there's some AEW women stuff that you needed to talk about. I bring this up right after you decide to take a bite of your your pizza. Ha 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 ha! Don't don't talk with your mouth full. I wasn't going to. Okay, good. Because I'm just going to talk about the brackets for the AEW Women's Eliminator Tournament, and before I then hand it off, so you can you can do the Japanese one, so I don't butcher it. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Well, this past Wednesday we had Thunder Rosa de- defeat Layla Hirsch in her matchup. We had the NWA Women's Champion uh, Serena Deves versus Rio coming up. Tay Conti versus Nana Rose. Oh, God. I don't even have that up. And then Dr. Britt Baker versus Anna J. Um, my hope here, I swear, I, I, I don't think it's going to happen, but I want Tay Conti to make it to round two over Nana Rose. I'm sorry. Um, now that just shouldn't, uh, they haven't done anything with her. She deserves to lose in the first round. Right now, I'm sorry. Sorry, Naya. I still I like you, but they you need to be repackaged. The whole beast thing is over. It doesn't work for you. You need to be repackaged. And then we have the Japanese round. So I'm gonna give this off to um yeah. Adam. Hold on a second. I can't. Here you go. Here's mine. Oh yeah, thank you. All right. So we've got first round in Japan. We got Yuka Sakazaki taking on Mei Sun Suruga. Then we have Veni taking Emi Sakura. Um, Maki Ito versus uh, Ryo uh, Mizunami. Aja Kong versus Rin Katakura. Okay. Again, I apologize if I actually bu- butchered any of those. Yeah, uh, you did. Mika it, um, Itachi. Um, Ichu. I can't pronounce it. It's the second one. <laughs> um, I just know because I watched a thing about her. And it was actually interesting. She was a former idol in AEW and over in Japan. And she became a pro wrestler to kind of try to get um, viewers. But she was a low end and eventually got cut from that. Yeah. So she dedicated to pro wrestling from now on. <laughs> See, I like that idea. Um, Yuka Zawazaki <clears throat> was the same thing. She was an idol who got fired from her job as an idol and just became a pro wrestler. So, but yes, we do also do know that when, how we're going to be able to see these matches for Japan, they will be put up on YouTube and um, on the YouTube channel, which has actually worked out good because you're not going to get the same quality standards from overseas 
yeah in japan for and tnt so it would be weird to have a lesser quality um match than what you're normal there it is so put it on um youtube is better i literally didn't scroll down far enough. i had a feeling that it was going to happen so but um from what it sounds like the matchup for um between Layla Hirsch and Thunder Rosers was really good, so that's good. I'm gonna make a prediction here for the. Um, You're making a prediction for the. That's Ameri- not on our prediction show. Yes, for the American side of the brackets, I'm gonna predict we're gonna get the semifinals will be between Thunder Rosa and Britt Baker. That's my prediction. I would love to um, see Tay Conti okay, yeah, get up yeah. there. I'd love to see that, but I'm pretty sure this whole thing is to get Britt Baker. That elevated spot to take on Shida. No, see, okay, I have a weird. <laughs> You're gonna go out there. I'm going out there for a second there. Anna J. Anna J. And Tay Conti have to yeah, have to fight. I would in love order it. to find out who it will who it will be that takes on Serena Deeb. I'm, I'm okay just with kidding. That. No, Thunder Rosa. <laughs> I'm a Th- Serena Deeb would be another good opponent. I, I know it's just one of those. And I was like, eh. I can also see them doing Serena Deeb versus um, Brit, Dr. Britt Baker because she beats one champion to move on to the finals, then to go on to another champion. Yeah. I can see them doing that too. Um, but because of their feud, I could see them doing Thunder Rosa as well. Time will tell. Um, I am also going to predict it's probably Rio. I just I like the idea of Tay Conti and Anna Jay having to be across the ring from each other, doing the, the, the heart at the yeah. beginning of their match. The Showing their solidarity, giving them, give it a hug or a handshake. I mean, like, but we both know we're going through it like sisters. Yep. And you're like, but at the same time, right as soon as much, um, the cruiserweight classic. Yeah. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano, they turned out like they turned out an amazing match yep. that held nothing back at the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end of it, hugged. Kind of. Kind of. I mean, it was a little bit of a, well, it looked like Tommaso was pissed, and then he might do something, but then he, they hugged. Yeah. And he just saved it until after they lost the tag titles. But um, you don't then, even give the, maybe she'll turn yeah, on him. No. No, like, immediately at the end, Anna J just like, uh, see, they do, if they it's, do the heart Anna, again. they do the heart again, they help each other, yep. they help each other up off the mat after the pinfall. Yep. And they're like, all right, let, now let's like, go out again, back. I love And they Tay walk Con- out together. I love Tay Conti's finisher. Yes, I love it. Anna J needs to get a better finisher. I'm sorry. Anna, all so. she needs is John Silver to stand on the ramp and be like Anna, <laughs> Anna, <laughs> the entire time. Just shout as loud as he can right in her ear again. Why not? Just like when she's screwing up, she's she's down on that mat. Anna, <laughs> Anna. All of the, you know, it's the moment where the 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 normally the 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 corner person would be yeah. hitting the thing he just starts screaming at her yeah and you're like Anna! and she's like okay whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. jeez calm like, down and she just looks like, like good she's like all right john <laughs> okay kiddo and he's like okay, i'm 28 i'm 29 kicks the, <laughs> kicks the floor a little <laughs> yeah. bit wanders around but what's our next stuff on the all right looks like impact is getting a new show yeah so they've signed a deal i can't remember with who access Access, okay, it is yeah. with Access. It's basically just going to be a, a, a show that, uh, before the show. Um, basically, the, it's a pre-show. Yeah, it's a pre-show for um, their No More Show, which is good Good for them. I it's going to be another hour long. It's going to be an hour long show. Yep. It's not going to be in-ring action, but I think it's just a way to catch you up on the storylines. What's going on, um, especially since they the way that they do their shows, you're there's not always... It's not like WWE where every single week we have to we have to present at least a little bit of every single storyline we have going on. Yeah. It impact has always been like, okay, hey, uh, this week we're going to be talking our storyline outside of the main event storyline because yeah. that's going on every week. Uh, this week we're concentrating on the the tag team storyline or or this storyline yeah. or that one. This this week's show has a lot of a, a lot of uh the the concentration is women's uh, women's wrestling this week. Yeah. And it'll be great to use that as a way just to catch people up. Yes. Um on story you could use that for storylines that were were in last week to get them caught up on everything to remind also, her. Also it can so. give extra promo time. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how they use it, but it's good for them. They're going to do they're expanding it in a way. But sadly, fuck the owl. Yeah, fuck that owl. 
What else we got? That's, that's it? it. That's, that's it. it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of the episode. Let us know down in the comment section what you thought of the episode. Comment what you thought of Joey Ryan's lawsuits. Are you glad they are being dismissed? Yes, you, you, you should, you, yes. If you say no, fuck you. Whoa. I yeah. mean, I mean, at the same time, you, I kind of, no, I kind <laughs> of wish that some of them had gone further, you know, because of discovery. Things having to actually be talked about. True. Um, so in other words, fuck you, Adam. No. Yeah. I mean, no. Wait, 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 wait. You want him to fuck you? No. Did you, what? Did you want him to give you a penis plug? No. That, wow. Dude. You learned something about people no. here. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, since you made it to the end of the video, we're assuming you liking what you're hearing, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It helps support the channel. While you're at it, why don't you share this on your social media? Ooh. We won't bitch and complain if we see it on there. We'll actually like it. Yeah, well, maybe. Adam would if he sees it. Like me on Twitter. I have a Twitter and I never post. Yes, by the way, go ahead and follow us on Facebook, uh, the Zero One Podcast Group, because Facebook won't let me change the name. Uh, and over on Twitter, it's ZOP at ZOP Gaming. You do realize, Adam, every five minutes, the, those names have constantly been up on the screen. What? Yeah. Thanks, bro. Yeah. You you you're awesome. As well as a thumbs up and subscribe. Really? Yeah. Every I... five minutes it goes through all okay. those. I <laughs> shows you how we don't watch our own ch- our own anyway podcast. Anyway, Ring. since you're right there and you're enjoying it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ding. Ring that bell. Ding. Ding. And make sure you turn on all notifications so you know when all as the buckle turns content goes live, especially when we have three shows a week. Yeah. When predictions come up. Thank you guys so much. And you know what, Adam? I'm glad to see that you actually found your energy. No, I didn't. Yeah, sure you I did. I already lost it. And I got two more shows to and do. Get back. Your face. Oh. <sighs>